How do you how do you reflect on the game? Um, I thought we were value for money, if I'm honest. Um, I thought in the first half, especially, we bit more composure in the final third. Probably should have been going in at half time me a goal or two. Um, we knew in the second half it was going to be difficult because you don't actually see it probably for the stands, but when you're shooting up pull and I know it doesn't look as that much a gradient, it is difficult to get out your own half at times. And we done it, we pinned United in fairly well in the first half. Um, so we knew they were going to come at us, but I thought even in the second half we had a couple of decent turnovers and we should have we should have done a wee bit better with them to be honest to take that two goal lead. But um, I thought the boys' game plan, the game plan today for all the coaching staff was very, very good. The discipline within the game plan was perfect. I think it was perfect, honestly. I thought the boys um, really, 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 really stuck to the task in hand in the game plan. And I thought they were magnificent. Like, what I'm really liking, what I'm seeing for this group of players at this point in time is how little chances we're giving teams to score against us. Um, we were probably a wee bit open and an early learning curve last year, this time last year, whereas you can now see this group of players actually growing game by game. And we got it. We came out in the right end of the result today. The performance is there. The performance was there last week, but it was nice to get both this week. Yeah, we obviously we dominated a lot of the balls, particularly in the first half, but didn't didn't create maybe enough chances. Would you say? Were you a wee bit frustrated at halftime? Maybe the fear of I think it was an extra pass, Callum. It's yeah. just we needed an extra pass, a wee bit more composure in the final third. There was one big Jules probably got to slip shinny. There's one I think Christian's got to cut back to wee pits. When we're out in the wide area, wide left, we get in behind, he's got to cut it back to wee pats and there was a couple of other wee half chances. I think Joel tried to take a shot and it's caught between his feet, he could have probably shifted the ball a wee bit better. But I thought in the first half we were value for money and very, very comfortable. Obviously Jack and um, Fox here, my Lucy Fox here, if I call him Mr Fox. <laughs> you say what you want. Mr Ross and Mr Fox changed their tactics at half time and you could see they got a wee bit more width for their wingers and their full backs were playing inside so... Um, took us a wee bit, a wee bit to acclimatise to that. They done that straight after the goal. To be fair to them, um, but we got to grips with it, and I thought, thought we dealt with it really well. Um, the boys, you can see every week, the boys will put an unbelievable shift in for us, and that's all you can really ask for any game. But I was really happy for Christian today. I thought he had a really good game. Nearly was saying on the bench, Christian's out ball, Christian's out ball, which he was. And then at half time, I can remember seeing Christian go in the game for us. You're the game. You're going to be the game changer today. And Christian steps up and he scores a, a fantastic strike. Yes. Big Joel could probably or should probably score before it, but we, again we get the, the ball drops to us, and uh, it's a fantastic strike with Christian. Um, but I thought the subs made an impact in the game. It gave us a lift when they needed a lift because the boys, energy-wise and the intensity, they were starting to get overloads and pepper the box. But I felt. I did, I felt really, really comfortable with Rick Jamal, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I thought he had a really, really good game. His distribution's top-notch, absolutely top-notch. That's why he's at the football club. First and foremost, to get clean sheets, but secondly, the icing on the cake is the distribution. And I think you can see that relationship growing in the back four, and hopefully, as the week goes on, that gets stronger, as uh, the relationships within the back four, including uh, back five, including the keeper, you can see them growing on a weekly basis. The midfield three, I thought they were very, very good. Mm -hmm. We Pitts and Shinny, you've got a wee bit of quality up the final third. And they'll put an F, a power of work in as well to help you with that one. And I thought Big Joe had a, an excellent game. I thought he got us up the park. I feel a wee bit sorry for the big man at times because I don't think he gets the fouls he probably should be getting because he's six foot three, doesn't he get the fouls? But I think all over the park today, all over the park, there's um, match winners all over the park today. And a wee bit of special... Mentioned to yeah, Ion Shinny, um, Ion Fitzy, I thought the two of them were outstanding today. Stephen Fletcher, don't kid yourself on, Stephen Fletcher is a top, top striker. And he never really causes um, any trouble with him, and that was due to the two dealing with Stephen Fletcher. And I always say the boys in front of him as well. So plenty of positives going into to Hibs next week. Again, the, mm -hmm. the games don't get any easier, but you know we've got a, a good record against Hibs the last few games against them. Yeah, it's, listen, I think it's going to be a difficult game. It's, it's, you're going into this a wee bit in the dark, so to speak, your two games in, so we can watch our previous two games. Uh, they played against St Johnson with 10 men, St Johnson had 10 men, so it's difficult to gauge the game, and then today's a derby. There's a lot of new players in there building within their squad, so 
Um, we'll be going into that a wee bit blind. We've done as much homework as we can on them. We'll get a mu as much detail as we can into the players. But I think it's a totally different Hibs team from what you're used to over the previous two seasons, probably. And then they've just managed to re-sign Martin Boyle, which is a huge signing for Hibs, to be honest. I think they solely missed him last year when he left. I think that was a huge loss for them. Um, I think if Sean actually had Martin Boyle within his squad, they'd have done a lot better. So we'll need to be aware of that, but... I'm more focused on us, to be honest. I work on the strengths and um, the threats that Hibs bring, but also work on their weaknesses and the opportunities that that possesses for us as a squad.